Hi everybody, Don Balance here with another Facebook Live tutorial here from New Tech in San Antonio. And today we are going to continue our series of tutorials on Virtual Set Editor, which is an application that you can buy at the New Tech store for creating your own custom virtual sets, your own custom multi-layered video effects, or even modifying the pre-made content that comes with Virtual Set Editor. Now last week we modified one of the VSE sets that can't, comes with Virtual Set Editor. So we're going to load Virtual Set Editor and we are going to reload that primetime set, which is the one that we used in the last tutorial. Um, this is the, the standard one right out of the box, though not the one that we modified. We're going to take a look at just a few other things that are possible with this type of set. Now in last week's tutorial, we talked about removing things from the set and I can mouse over all of the different attributes of this set. Here are the monitors, for instance. We can remove both of the monitors. We can turn both of the monitors on, but you can also drill down and add or remove individual monitors, the left monitor or the right monitor. So you can really customize this set quite a bit. Now to take that even a step further, I'm going to go ahead and remove the monitors completely and I'm going to find the desk and I'm going to remove the desk completely. Now we have our talent floating in midair here, but our talent is input A and we have a style selection for this input. This is going to be our keyed talent and we can work with a seated person or two people seated behind a desk or a medium shot, which is where you're going to be basically waist up full screen so we see the entire uh, frame is encompassed by this input. You could walk around the entire set now and be within the entire set. And we have our standing right here as well, putting them back up on the stage, allowing them to walk on the stage. And then we have our standard for two people to be standing on the stage. So you can really make some massive changes to these sets just by adding and removing things. Let's say we're standing here on the set and we want to go ahead and have just one monitor over here to be able to work with. We can do that as well. Um, so all of the changes that can be made right over here inside of the different variables and there's a lot of different things that you can do. Now when you create a virtual environment, it's all about trying to immerse that environment into the venue where you are, especially if you're talking about sports or something like that. And you can do that in Virtual Set Editor. I'll give you an example. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work with this background area. If I take my mouse and I right click and I push, I can actually zoom the virtual camera in. So I'm just going to zoom it in and then I left click and I drag and I can pull that camera down. And now I've just got this set up to where we can see the talent. And again, if I wanted to adjust the talent, I could come in here and I can size the talent however big I want them to be, where I want them to be standing here in the shot. I can <clears throat> adjust that camera, move the talent around to where I want them to be. Great. Now I want to put video in the background. So let's say I'm inside of an arena and I've got a camera that looks at the entire arena, like up at the top of the stands. If I can grab that video feed, I can put it in the background of this window. Again, if we go back to our windows and I look at my center window here, which is the one that we're looking at now, instead of putting an image in there, I can put any of the four inputs. Again, as long as I'm working with a system that supports four inputs. So we now have the ability to have a live camera on the event and that is what we're seeing out the window of our virtual set. And this really helps to solidify that illusion of you being at the event and having this virtual environment that you're working within. Now, there are a few other modifications that you can make. I'm going to go ahead and look at the walls right now and you'll see that I have some color modifications here. So I can use the hue control to actually change the color of the wood grain back there if I want to, and you've got contrast, hue, brightness, and saturation to make some changes. So that is one way that you can modify the color of the elements inside of the virtual set. And then there's a reset button that gets you back to the default setting uh, if you want to do that as well. Now let's take a look at a different type of template set that comes with virtual set editor. I'm going to come up to the file pull down here and I'm just going to go to open. I'm not going to save what I have. And the next type of set that I want to look at is one of our layer sets. You'll see that throughout the content there are some sets called layers. And I just loaded up what's called the 12 layer set. 
And this comes in with 12 different layers. And these layers are not all being used. Some of them are just there as placeholders. And what this allows you to do is to move everything in this set around and basically use it as a template for your own thing. If you wanted to and you came in here and you find where you're working with the desk element and you wanted to replace the desk with your own desk, you can do that. Um, there's the entire desk element. So if we wanted to remove that from the set, we could and we could replace it with our own desk element. You can see that the monitor is actually a separate element there. So this is just a series of layers inside a virtual set editor allowing you to uh, make changes and move things around. You've got input A and input A2. A2 is not being used. Notice A2 is in front of the desk and the image A1 is behind the desk. So you could make a version of this set where the talent walks from behind the desk to in front of the desk. And for that, you would have to be able to turn off where they're behind the desk and turn on right here and turn on where they are in front of the desk. And then manipulate that virtual environment as they walk around the desk. And there are a few ways to do that as well. So this is what we refer to as a layered set, and there are several of them. If I go back and I open this up, I'm not going to save what we've done here. We could see 12 layer set, and then as we move down, there's a nine and a six layer set as well that you can load up and manipulate all those layers and change where the talent is in the foreground, in the background, and change out all of the other elements as well pretty quickly and easily. Now, another way to create virtual sets and manipulate them is to actually create the layers inside of Photoshop. And you'll notice that you've got a From Photoshop icon here when you go to load a new project. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And there are several PSD files here that have been saved out from Photoshop. And you can just go ahead and load up the PSD file, and it will convert that PSD file into a virtual set project that you're ready to use here, uh, that you would be ready to use in a new tech live production system. I'm going to go ahead and grab the input and scale this down. And let's say we want to have this person seated behind the desk. We can go ahead and put them behind the desk right here. But again, all of these layers were created in Photoshop. And there's just a naming convention that you need to use when you name the layers so that Virtual Set Editor knows what those layers are when you import the PSD file. And it creates a Virtual Set Editor project with all of the layers that you had created in Photoshop. So if you're used to working in Photoshop and you've got a lot of talent there, this is a way of just extending that talent and being able to create things in Photoshop and bring them in and use them very quickly and easily as real time virtual effects inside of New Tech Live Production Systems. Now, if we look at this virtual set, we have some lights back here in this virtual set. And if you're using Advanced Edition, uh, the Advanced Edition of Virtual Set Editor, you also have the ability to add flares. So if I go up here to the Flare option and I click on Add, it will present me with a lot of pre-made content. And these are all flares that can be added to your scene. And I've got this light that's kind of coming down the side over here. So I'm going to add a flare for that light. And it shows up over here. I can simply position it right over here and kind of add it in with that light. Now we have this flare to be masked by video when it goes off the screen. So if I zoom in, you'll notice that that light fades out. And when I come out live, that lens flare acts as if it's naturally occurring within the scene. So you can now go in and set up different types of flares. I've got one on the other side as well. So I could come and find this one. Let's move this one over here. And again, as I move in and out, you'll see that we get those flares reacting uh, just as though these are actual lights inside of the set. And there are a large variety of these types of flares that you can use for different types of effects. Very, very cool new feature in Advanced Edition of Virtual Set Editor. Well, I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. And if you have any topics that you'd like covered or suggestions, please put them in the comments below. And we'll see you again next Tuesday for another segment on Virtual Set Editor during the live Facebook tutorial here from New Tech. I'm Don Balance. Thanks for watching.